This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your top stories right now from ABC 15 Arizona. It could be weeks to months before the Arizona Supreme Court issues an opinion on abortion in Arizona. It was a packed house at the courthouse as justices sat in for oral arguments on two state abortion laws to determine which one to apply. The more recent law would ban abortions after 15 weeks. The older one passed more than 100 years ago as a near total ban on the procedure. Later today, family and friends will celebrate the life of Jameer Jenkins during a candlelight vigil at Combs High School. Jenkins was shot and killed two weeks ago in Santan Valley. His death just one of many involving teens. Parents addressing it with Gilbert's Town Council demanding that they discuss solutions to keep kids safe. The group did the same thing last week in Queen Creek. That community waiting for an arrest in Preston Lord's case. The 16 year old was assaulted at a Halloween party in Queen Creek and later died. More parents are speaking out saying their kids were also victims of violence. I just feel like at this point it's getting worse and I think the communities of Gilbert, Chandler and Queen Creek, the uh, city councils have to come together and figure out a way that we can help these kids and make this stop. While the Gilbert police chief spoke at the meeting, he could not comment on Preston's case. ABC 15 did reach out to Queen Creek police who as of Tuesday say there are no new updates in his case. We do have an update to share with you, though, more than a month after crews completed their cleanup of the zone in Phoenix. The city now says of the 590 people living there, nearly 70% are either still in shelter or in treatment or have since found permanent housing. The city plans to add nearly 800 new shelter beds over the next two years. Today we will learn more about a plan to place all three of our state's major public universities under tighter supervision. This is in response to recent financial issues at the University of Arizona. The Board of Regents will meet this evening to lay out their plan to prevent future overspending and to hear about you Arizona's recovery plan. The U.S. Postal Service giving us an inside look at what it takes to get your packages delivered on time during the busy holiday season. The West Valley Processing Center is the third largest in the entire country, shipping out up to 700,000 packages each day. Workers there sharing a few tips to make sure there are no bumps along the way when shipping your gifts. We get a lot of open packages. Once we see that, we do our best to uh, tape it up and secure it. Another good tip is always leave like a little index card in the package where it's supposed to go and the return address. The deadline to make sure your gifts arrive by Christmas is approaching. You have until Saturday if you're using USPS Ground Advantage or First Class Mail. Priority Mail is Monday, December 18th and Priority Mail Express is one week from today. If you're ordering from Amazon this holiday season, the company has a unique way to spread some holiday cheer to those delivery drivers. Get this at no extra cost. You can tip your driver a $5 gift card. All you need to do is search Thank My Driver on the Amazon website or app. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. It's going to be sunny and cooler today with Phoenix topping out right at 70 degrees, a degree cooler than yesterday. So not a huge drop, but temperatures overall trending down today and even into tomorrow before we start our next warm up. Highs cooler in northern Arizona too. mid 40s today for Flagstaff, upper 50s for Payson. There is a chance for snow showers today, a slight chance along the rim, but it's really not going to add up to much in those spots that do get some light snow along the rim. It'll be areas in northeast Arizona near Window Rock where we could pick up one to two in of snow up to the Four Corners region, so be, be mindful of that as you could encounter some slick conditions in that part of our state. Otherwise, dry here in the valley, cooler the next couple days with highs in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Then we start a warm up with highs climbing into the mid to upper 70s Friday and this upcoming weekend. You'll see more clouds this weekend too, but for now, that valley forecast is still dry at least to start next week with highs in the mid to upper 70s and lows in the 50s. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head on over to abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.